Hello, everyone. Do you want to know what's causing your prostate problems? Today's video will give you an overview of foods that may not be the best buddies for your prostate health. Stay tuned, we will share the secret to a happy, healthier prostate. Let's get started. What is enlarged prostate? An enlarged prostate, also known as benign prostatic hyperplasia, BPH, is a common disease that mostly affects older men. The prostate is a gland the size of a walnut located directly below the bladder that encircles the urethra, the tube that transports urine from the bladder out of the body. As men age, it is usual for the prostate to grow, a process that is not always associated with cancer but can cause a variety of symptoms and difficulties. This issue is more common in males over the age of 50, and the risk of acquiring enlarged prostate increases with age. The steady growth of the prostate is due to changes in hormonal balance, namely an increase in dihydrotestosterone, DHT, production. This hormone, a consequence of testosterone, is believed to increase prostate cell development. The expansion that results might put a strain on the urethra, causing a variety of urine problems. These symptoms can affect a person's quality of life, affecting everyday activities and overall well-being. While an enlarged prostate is a normal part of the aging process for many men, not everyone will suffer uncomfortable symptoms, and the intensity of symptoms can vary greatly between individuals. Signs of enlarged prostate Difficulty starting or stopping urination One of the defining symptoms of an enlarged prostate is difficulty starting or stopping the flow of urine. This can show difficulty or delay in urinating, making the procedure less fluid and more effortful. Similarly, stopping the flow may not be as immediate or regulated as it should be, demonstrating the impact of prostate enlargement on the functionality of the urethra. Frequent urination, especially at night. Another common symptom of an enlarged prostate is an increased frequency of urination, especially at night. This condition, known as nocturia, interrupts regular sleep patterns and can cause weariness and a general lack of well-being. Because the larger prostate reduces the urethra, the bladder contracts more frequently, increase the desire to urinate. Weak urine flow A decreased urine flow is a common sign of an enlarged prostate. As the prostate grows, it can block the urethra, reducing the force of the urine stream. This weakening of the stream is frequently noticed and might contribute to persons needing extra time to empty their bladder. Inability to empty the bladder an enlarged prostate may cause issues with regular bladder emptying, causing a chronic sense of incomplete voiding. Even after urination, people may think their bladder has not been empty. This feeling can be frustrating, and it may contribute to a cycle of more frequent visits to the loo in an attempt to ease the apparent incompleteness. If you recognize any of the symptoms, you should take them seriously as signs of an enlarged prostate. But what happens next? Seeking medical attention is important. Causes of enlarged prostate We're exploring the causes of an enlarged prostate. It is critical to understand these elements to take control of your health. Let's study it. Hormonal changes First and foremost, there are hormonal changes. Hormones, especially dihydrotestosterone, DHT, can affect aging. Consider it a hormonal change or your body's way of reordering things. These changes can lead to the growth of cells in the prostate, resulting in an enlarged prostate. Aging Now, aging is something that we all experience. The prostate naturally grows larger as time passes. It's as if it's a natural part of the aging process. Just as we obtain a few more wrinkles, the prostate expands a little, putting a strain on the urethra and creating those annoying sensations. Family History Family history is also important. You may be at a higher risk if your father or grandfather had an enlarged prostate. It's like a genetic tag, if it runs in your family, you should keep a watch on your prostate health. Knowing your family history can warn you about what's to come. Lifestyle factors Let's talk about our way of life, what we eat, how we move, and all that lovely stuff. A variety of lifestyle factors can cause an enlarged prostate. High-fat meals and a lack of exercise might be likened to the fuel that stokes the fire. Making good decisions can make or break your prostate health. 
Now, we're going to discuss the foods you should avoid if you have an enlarged prostate. Let's explore it. Caffeine. Let's start with caffeine, the excitement you expect from your morning coffee. Here's a warning, too much of it might cause problems with your bladder. It's like a morning wake-up call for discomfort, not for you. Consider your bladder becoming irritable, causing your urine symptoms to worsen. Here's a polite suggestion, cut back on the caffeine, either switching to coffee or limiting the number of cups. Your bladder may thank you for the peaceful morning ritual. Spicy foods. Let's turn up the heat on spicy dishes, aren't they the life of the taste bud party? The twist is that they can also take a swipe at your prostate. It's like adding some zing to the inflammation cocktail, potentially amplifying those urinary troubles. So, if you enjoy the thrill of spice, it may be worth considering reducing it a little for the sake of your prostate. Consider it a respite for your taste buds and a chance for your prostate to relax without the added heat. Alcohol Now, let's talk about alcohol, which is, after all, the life of the celebration. The disadvantage is that, while this is excellent for socializing, there may be better news for your bladder. Because alcohol has a drying impact, it might leave your body thirsty for additional water. This dehydration might result in more concentrated urination, which can be an issue for your bladder, causing irritation and pain. Red and processed meat Let's talk about red and processed meats that delight your taste buds. The problem is that while they may be delicious, they frequently include high saturated fat. Consider these lipids to be potential prostate irritations. They tend to induce inflammation, and when it comes to your prostate, it's like tossing gasoline on a fire not exactly the sort of party you want down there. Dairy Products Let's talk about dairy now, those creamy treats we all like. But here's the deal, high-fat dairy products might be harmful to your prostate. It's as if they warm up to inflammation, creating an atmosphere that may not be ideal for your prostate. Imagine your prostate gently pushing you and suggesting, hey, how about switching it up with some skim milk today? Making a few dairy changes could prove to be a prostate-friendly choice. Choosing lower fat or skim milk over full-fat milk can be like sending a soothing message to your prostate. It's saying, let's keep things cool down here. Making these dairy changes may take some time, but your prostate may enjoy the lighter touch. So, the next time you're in the dairy section, grab the lower fat ones for a dual benefit, you still get your dairy fix, and your prostate can relax without the added inflammation. Sugar and Artificial Sweeteners Let's talk about sugar and its artificial companions. They may sweeten the deal for your taste buds, but they may not be a party for your prostate. Too much sugar can upset the delicate equilibrium down there. Consider yourself an orchestra's proficient conductor, saying, hold on, let's maintain things in harmony. It's like a symphony of biological activities, and too much sugar can be the off-key note that breaks the harmony. For prostate peace, consider cutting back on sugar and sugar substitutes. Consider it like keeping an even beat in your prostate symphony. Your prostate may welcome the respite from the sweetness overload, and you may find a more harmonious overall balance. Making these minor dietary changes could be like tuning the strings, resulting in a prostate-friendly tune that resonates with better health. So, the next time you grab a sugary snack, consider a healthier choice to maintain the balance. High-sodium foods Let's start with high-sodium foods, you know, the ones that add a little flavor by applying salt. While it may make your taste buds dance, it can also give your bladder a good time. How? That excess salt, on the other hand, might cause water retention, which is when your body holds on to more water than it needs. And do you know what that means? It puts additional strain on your bladder, worsening your urine problems. It's as if your bladder says, whoa, too much pressure, can we ease up a little? So, consider taking a break from the salt shaker to benefit your bladder. It's similar to allowing your bladder to breathe. Choosing lower sodium options or flavoring your food with herbs and spices can boost bladder-friendly flavor. It may take some time for your taste buds to adjust, but your bladder may thank you for the smoother flow. It's a win-win situation since you still get to eat delicious meals while your bladder is relieved of the excess pressure. So, the next time you're in the cooking area, 
consider cutting back on the salt to keep things moving smoothly. Acidic foods. Last but not least, acidic foods think citrus fruits and tomatoes. While they are delicious, they may irritate the prostate and bladder. It's similar to acid reflux but for your lower abdomen. So, to balance things, perhaps balance those acidic treats with some prostate-friendly selections. And there you have it, the dirt on foods that may not be your prostate's greatest friend. Making a few changes to your diet may significantly enhance your prostate health. If you found these recommendations helpful, please give us thumbs up, subscribe for more health hacks, and remember to ring the bell. Your prostate will be grateful, and we'll see you in a future video. Keep in mind that a happy prostate is a healthy prostate. Everyone, take care.